we have a BLM chapter co-founder. Her name is Melina Abdullah. She's the co-founder of the BLM Los Angeles chapter and also the co-director of the activist wing of the advocacy of the organization Black Lives Matter Grassroots. So she is a BLM and she just took to Twitter and just threw this out. You know, she wrote, why do I feel like it's slightly racist to be a Taylor Swift fan? Now you might look at that tweet and you say, that, that's so crazy. We don't have to listen to her at all. I will then tell you again that she is a professor. She's actually a professor of Pan-African Studies at Cal State University in Los Angeles. So people are, are listening to her in some capacity. She's got a student body, so you mind yourself. She also added this to the tweet. Why do I feel like this was some right-wing white supremacist conspiracy? Boo! Hashtag Super Bowl. So people are attaching those two feelings because they came on the same day and they're covering her and her idea that people that support Taylor Swift are racist. And now you might be saying, Candace, that's ridiculous. And you'd be right, but I got to be a Molina stan right now and I'll tell you why. It's nothing to do with Taylor Swift. Like I said, that is pointedly ridiculous. But because she was really honest when reporters came to her, when people asked her to elaborate on that opinion, Elaborate, Melina, how is it that being a Taylor Swift fan is racist? She replied by saying, I said, feel, not think. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> so she's being honest. I think she has been the greatest and most honest representation of the BLM movement on a whole, which was guided by feelings and very little facts to back up those feelings. You know, I just feel like we're facing a lot of white supremacy when uh, black men don't listen to police officers and get harmed in the process, right? That really was the entire BLM movement in a nutshell. So it's not at all surprising that she is unable to back anything that she has said about Taylor Swift with any logic. You just better leave Melina alone, okay? Girls are feeling on the internet and she is one of them. Speaking of Taylor Swift though, as I said to you, hmm, the press seems to be turning against Travis Kelsey. This always happens, by the way, if you pay attention to the trends, Taylor Swift gets a boyfriend, and then what happens is her fans sort of problematize the boyfriends. She's in a toxic relationship with her fans because, like I tell you guys all the time, her fans are teeny boppers, their brains are not developed, and they have tons of feelings and very little facts, and they want to believe that she's a perfect Barbie who does no wrong, and she's now leaning into that stereotype. So it creates a very toxic scenario where when she dates anybody, they're like, oh, this is what's wrong with them. So you may have already forgotten, but she dated Matt Healy for a couple of weeks when she came out of the relationship with Joe Alwyn. And then her fans said, no, he said horrible stuff in a podcast. And so she evaporated from that relationship. And now came the Travis Kelsey and people were invested in the Super Bowl and Taylor Swift won the Super Bowl. And now people are starting to notice. Look at this headline. Some things about Travis Kelsey is what they're starting to notice. The Daily Mail headline reads, Why Taylor Swift Still Needs to Protect Her Billion Dollar Brand Amid Travis Kelsey Romance. An expert warns NFL star's recent, quote, behavioral missteps could become a problem for the singer. You know what I appreciate right away is the fact that the Daily Mail actually went out and got an expert. <laughs> on the matter. That is how much the Taylor Swift image means to the world. So they, they called up an expert and they said, what is your expert opinion about his behavior? Earthly Wellness is dedicated to revolutionizing healthcare by encouraging a holistic and natural approach to well-being. Earthly offers a wide range of natural solutions from herbal remedies to body care products to vitamins and minerals. They've got something for every lifestyle. One of my favorite products is their Coco Calm. Coco Calm is a supplement that promotes total body wellness and gut health while reducing your body's response to stress. It's a natural prebiotic, helping to feed the good bacteria in your body and promote overall gut health. They've also got a ton of natural baby products for moms like me who are cautious about the ingredients in other brands. I'm looking forward to trying their Teeth Tamer. It's an all-natural solution aimed at soothing irritability due to teething pain. Listen, I get it. Holistic healthcare can be overwhelming, especially when you're new to it. Earthly makes it really easy to get started. Take one of their free quizzes to find the natural solution that's right for you. Check out Earthly Wellness for yourself today. Visit earthly.com slash Candice. That's E-A-R-T-H-L-E-Y dot com slash Candice. So here's what happened. Her fandom, if that's what we're calling them, Swifties, didn't much like it. The first sign was when he hit his 65-year-old coach, Andy Reid. Remember, guys, that little moment from the Super Bowl? Let me jog your memory. Here it is. For the fumble. 
comes over to Andy. He goes, keep me in. What happened is on the fumble, he was not in the game. Noah Gray went in. Now, ultimately, they ended up letting that moment slide because, you know, it's the Super Bowl. People get emotional. And plus, they won. So now the excitement of winning. And, and then Travis Kelsey, when he did win, gave a speech. And he said that he, quote, owes his entire career to that guy, Andy Reid, and being able to control how emotional I get. And I just love him, man. So, yeah, a little indication there that he's got some emotions and that this coach has helped him through those various emotions throughout his career. Then her fandom got upset because there was the shooting that happened at the Kansas City Super Bowl parade just a few days later. And despite that shooting, uh, they felt that Travis Kelsey made a, quote, spectacularly insensitive decision to party hard after the mass shooting. And they were really angry about that. The end conclusion was that 22 fans were shot. And just hours after that, nine children among those fans, a young mother died. Travis decided to hit up a restaurant and a bar, and he took selfies with cops while carrying an open beer bottle on the street, having earlier taken to the parade stage and also appearing way too drunk to speak. Here's Travis Kelsey again. Blame it all on my roots. I sewed up in booze and ruined the Niners affair. The last one to know. We were the last one to show. We were the last ones they thought they'd see there. And I saw the surprise, that fear in their eyes. And we took that glass of champagne. Pat, Pat took that glass of champagne, I promise you. <laughs> Don't hate me for enjoying that. I mean, whatever. Look at it, he's legal. He's 34 years old, going to be 35 this year, and Travis likes to party. They are celebrating a Super Bowl. As I said, nothing problematic about that per se, but they're looking at this through the lens of Taylor Swift, who they believe is 15 years old. And, you know, at the Super Bowl, she was getting a little crunk, too. She was chug-a-lugging. I told you, she's in her college girl phase. Let her be. And they are not happy because this drinking seems to have carried on. Last week, he was at a club in Las Vegas, spraying champagne. Take a look. And here's another video of him smoking in the club, this time next to Taylor. We don't know what he's smoking, but take a look. So a couple of ways to look at this. Personally, I don't have a problem with it because as I said, this is Taylor Swift in her college phase, okay? Guys, she's out of high school now mentally and she's jumping into college. And in college, you follow the guy to the club, he gets too drunk, he says some bad stuff, you get into fights because he's drinking and he's partying. And yeah, these relationships tend not to work out. But when you're Taylor Swift, just to be clear, you're at least going to get an album out of it. So be happy. Rejoice, Taylor Swift fans. Leave Travis Kelsey alone. Now, do I agree with people, the general public, that this is not how 34-year-olds should be behaving? Yes, because as I've mentioned, I'm the same age as these, as these people, and I, I don't party like this at all. I think if you are a person and you do smoke, you, are, you could do that at home. I don't really see the reason to do this at a nightclub, but I'm not their parents, okay? Leave Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey alone. I'm looking forward to the college album. Hey guys, if you like this video, you will definitely like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here.